Today we ask the age old question in a new age game. Can you beat Minecraft dungeons only using bows? Minecraft dungeons is a game filled with tons of unique weapons and artifacts, but today I decided to only use a bow. Now you may be asking, what's the problem with bows? Bows, unlike melee weapons, have a finite amount of ammo you can get per level. Unless your bow or armor has a certain enchantment, you'll probably only end up getting like 100 to 150 arrows a level. But that's enough chitter chatter, let's hop into the first level. Now before we proceed to the creeper woods, you may be wondering, Where's the tutorial level? Since it is a tutorial level, you can skip it in the pause menu very easily. Now back to the creeper woods. This is an extremely easy level to conserve your ammo and run away from mobs. And when I say run away from mobs, we're really gonna be running away from mobs the majority of this playthrough. So get your jukes ready. The only downside about running away from mobs is that we won't be gaining any XP from killing them. As we head into this house, we pop open our first supply chest of the playthrough. These chests are gonna be our main supply of guaranteed arrows. There's usually like one to two of them per level. Throughout the playthrough, I try my best to kill all the piggy banks and loot as many emeralds as I can so I can purchase more loot later on. I end up enchanting my bow with piercing and finishing off the rest of the creeper woods. In the reward chest for beating the level, I get the boots of swiftness, which is perfect for running away from mobs, but don't use them to run away from doing your taxes. The IRS always finds you. So before we hop into pumpkin pastures, I get my hands on a new crossbow. I enchant it with growing arrows and hop into the next level. Now immediately I notice that the baby zombies and vindicators are going to be a problem because of how fucking fast they are another mob in this level that was annoying as hell was the new geomancer mob those are the guys that keep summoning in those stone totem poles the creepers sprinkled in this level are very useful for killing other monsters shout out to them i grab our first supply chest and keep running i guarantee you that this level would not have been possible without these swiftness boots if you feel comfortable or just get cornered feel free to unleash a couple of arrows on some mobs just make sure you have extra especially if bosses are at the end of the level we finally run into the first time where we actually have to kill something to progress we have to survive a couple of ambushes and put some keys in doors. Finally, to finish off the level, we have to take on one more ambush and then we're free to go. In the chest, I end up getting a totem of shielding, which is a decent relic. At some point in the last level, I picked up a wind horn, which is going to be very useful for this playthrough. But this next level is pretty simple. There's a couple of tight areas you have to squeeze through here and there. But with the boots of swiftness and wind horn, this level is pretty easy. This is the first level where we experience a boss type enemy. We take on not one, but two evokers in this level level they're pretty easy to kill if you get a point blank shot with the scatter crossbow but boom bada bing level complete and we get our hands on a light feather which completes our trifecta of running away like a bitch set of relics next up is soggy swamp i hate this level one thing that i noticed with this game is if you don't have a melee weapon equipped the game sometimes just gives you a free sword and auto equips it which is kind of weird i play a decent amount of the level before i notice that i'm holding this sword but it's all good because i don't use it at all the water in this level is deadly but for some reason i jump into it the second half of this level takes place in a cave where you fight an enderman again same strat for them just get point blank with the crossbow now we get to the part that i hate about this level and that is the final boss of this level it isn't too bad in this playthrough but playing on higher levels with melee weapons this boss becomes a nightmare we use our point blank strat to finish the boss off and get rewarded with a fishing pole Sweet, can't wait to not use it. Next up is the redstone mines. This level I for sure thought I was gonna have troubles with, but surprisingly, I blazed through this level like it was nothing. There's an evoker I fight at some point, I free some villagers and hit a nice tight juke out of a dead end, and then it was time to fight the redstone golem. He beat my ass, but luckily for me, this game gives you a bunch of disposable lives per level. This time, I beat his ass and get rewarded with another relic I'm not gonna use. Moving on to the desert temple. Now this level gets a bit crazy. It has a lot of tough mobs that easily gang up and corner you for some reason i kept trying to fight the summoner skeletons instead of running i don't know why i just start firing arrows off like crazy due to how many mobs kept trying to corner me another new mob we encounter is the wraith these dudes just unleash hell on you if you're standing still. At the end of this level, we fight a boss called the Ancient One. The strat we use on him is a simple shoot and run strat, making sure to dodge his projectiles because those things hurt if you get hit. A little strat I like doing at the end of levels is to use all my extra arrows on mobs that I ran past, just to gain a little extra experience before ending the level. Next up is the Fiery Forge. This is another level that I thought would be pretty tough, but surprisingly, I blazed through this one with little effort. The Redstone Monstrosity isn't too bad either. Just take care of the minions he summons and use the shoot and run strat while also using the core explosions. After it dies, I get rewarded with another relic that I won't be using in this playthrough. 
amazing. So I should have mentioned it earlier in the video, but I am allowing relics that are directly shot from the bow to be used in this playthrough, like fireworks, fire arrows, and torment arrows. I barely use them in this playthrough, so I don't know why I'm mentioning it. Also, my scatter crossbow has some good enchantments on it, like infinity and multi shot. The only downside is my bow is low level and it doesn't do too much damage. But let's move on to the next level high block halls. This is where the game actually becomes a bit hard as archer only. There's a lot of strong ass mobs in small areas. My first attempt on this level goes bad. I lose at the final part where you're supposed to just take on a couple of waves of enemies, but I barely have any arrows. So you can see where things get a bit tough in this playthrough. I was trying to use the wind horn to accidentally knock enemies into the abyss below. Attempt two goes a little bit better. Like I actually beat the level this time using nearly all my arrows in the wind horn strat. So before I take on the final level, I decide to spend all my emeralds on random gear until I get a better bow. I finally get one that does double the damage of my last bow and I enchant it with few shot and bonus shot. This level has a couple of close calls of me using most of my arrows to defend myself. I'm trying to save all my lives for the final boss fight. I try my best running past everyone and almost getting gangbang on the staircase but I finally make it to the arch illager. The boss fight was super easy with these new enchantments but then phase two begins. The illager turns into the heart of ender which is a boss that has super strong attacks. I die once but I still have two lives to spare. I almost get one tapped again but but luckily, I'm able to defeat it before it kills me again. And with the Heart of Ender defeated, that brings our bow only playthrough of Minecraft Dungeons to an end. This playthrough wasn't too challenging and honestly was a warm up for my next challenge. Can you beat Minecraft Dungeons with no weapons? Find out next time. Hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and sub to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to become a channel member and directly support me, just hit the join button located somewhere underneath the video. Thank you everyone for watching. Minecraft Dungeons is a dope game, man. I'm waiting for that DLC coming out next month.